Five seconds into the 1986 World Cup match between Argentina and England, Diego Maradona. Chat, before we watch World Cup, chat, chat, this says how the AI works with, with uh, penalties or, or uh, outside. I want to see it. Maradona did something infamous. This moment goes down in history because of what the commentators could clearly see. That is why England is so furious. Maradona has punched it in with his left hand. But in 1986, referees didn't have access to instant replays. They had to make judgment calls from the field based on their limited perspective on what happened. Thank you and for their subjective view on it was that this goal was good. This okay. would never. Just one thought, chat. Why wouldn't they have multiple observers, like 10 observers that are paid and they go on, to, uh, on the field at certain increments and they look. If the guy makes a bad call, he gets, he goes to the observers, right? Sipping. He calls for an observer meeting. He says, yo, dude, people that are in position, what did you see, whatever? And then boom, they did. They had four and they still fucked it up ever happen today, as technology has empowered referees to view moments again and again from multiple different angles before making a final decision. And this year's World Cup features a technology that takes that a step further, judging when someone is offside using AI. All right, so the, the simplest way of explaining offsides is that the offensive player has to have two defensive players between them and the goal or be behind the, where the ball is. Most of the time, it's the goalkeeper plus one defender. I'm learning, For yo. the most part, if any offensive players are behind this second-to-last defender while the ball is in play, they're offside. That's Jeremiah Oshan, by the way. Soccer editor of SB Nation. Offside should be an objective call. Either you're in front of this line Wait. or behind it. What makes it tricky yeah, is that- Yeah, I was about to say, this is, even I understand this better than how they explained it. Fuck that the we're hitters. often judging with subjective perspectives, the the and it can be hard Excuse to tell when a player now. is teetering over the line. As this tweet by Dale Johnson of ESPN shows, the angle at which you see something really matters. These two- Chat, I thought this was about the pass timing. It's whenever he's about to pass, whenever he goes for it, it cannot have a guy pass the last defender. If the ball is in play, it doesn't matter. As long as he's not, right? It doesn't matter. Images from the March 20th game between Liverpool and so, Nottingham yeah, okay, Forest so show the right. same moment in time from two slightly different perspectives. In the image on the left, number 20 looks like he's in front of number three, but on the right, it looks like their positions are inverted. If Wait, audience members only see an angle they feel is uncompelling, it can leave them unsure that the right call was made. Like in this October 7th game between England and the US. Maybe they're looking at an offside call potentially, but it looks like Sophia Smith is onside. This call shocked even the commentators. No goal. No goal. Right there is where they're saying Sophia is offside already. This goal would have tied the match at 2-2, but because it was revoked, England won 2-1. It was revoked in part because of VAR. Video assisted referees were introduced in 2018 with the intention of making Rigged. calls like this a little more objective. These refs are in a room away from the match, but they have the advantage of seeing the event from 33 camera angles. Jesus. If they see something they think a referee didn't or couldn't have seen, they can suggest that the footage be reviewed on the field monitor. This enhances the accuracy and objectivity of calls, but it still relies on perspective. For the 2022 World Cup, FIFA is introducing semi-automated AI Why don't you just use lasers? technology. A sensor in the ball will relay its position on the field 500 times a second, and 12 motion cameras mounted underneath the roof of stadiums will just use lasers. That's it. Use machine learning to triangulate players' body positions. This data can be used to create a 3D visualization of a play that can be viewed from any angle. Like in this early test during a September match, the virtual camera is able to fly around, giving an almost godlike perspective of the scenario. Well, that, that's fucking broken. There are no viewing angle limitations, no frame rate delays. It's a near one-to-one -one recreation of the event, seemingly indisputable evidence for referees and audience members that this player's knee was offside by this much. Subjectivity isn't being totally removed from the equation, though. 
The technology being only semi-automated means that human referees will still make the final calls after taking what the AI shows under consideration. And that can be critical, because while this tech can judge space flawlessly, it can't see everything like a player's intentions. There was a, an MLS game between LAFC and Austin FC where a foul potentially occurred. The referee decided not to give the penalty for subjective reasons, which was, you know, his touch was taking him away from the ball, which implied that maybe he wasn't really fouled as, as much as the replay made it kind of look like he was. And I thought that was actually a really good use intentions. of VAR where he clearly was shown what happened and he was allowed to make a decision about whether or not he wait a minute yo yo semi automated that's what i said yesterday i said intentions matter right if somebody is intentionally making a fouls yo that's what i said the ai offside tech is meant to make referees less reliant on subjective perspective months and but I still never it's know just what a tool how it'll change gameplay depends on how it gets well. used Tom and ultimately don't care rigged whatever the fuck i don't give a shit rigged or not i'm watching this shit man